OG, welcome back to the Toronto Raptors. Hello, how are you? Fantastic, you? I'm good. All right, I'm expecting big things from this interview. Mm -hmm. First of all, how was the off season? It was good. Yes. Productive. Um, yeah, it was a good off season. Last year you told me you worked on everything. Yeah. Did you work on everything again? Yeah, I always do, every year. Anything specifically? Uh, just like the main things, shooting, mm -hmm. ball handling, passing, just, yeah. All skills you need for basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say these skills have improved going into this season? Yeah, I think I got better. Yeah, excellent. I do have to ask, your name was floated around a lot this off season, and you ended up not moving. I think a lot of us are very grateful for that. But what did it feel like when you heard your name in the media? Um, I don't know. I can't really control it. True. So just, I was like, I don't know, kind of surprised. I just woke up one day and like someone sent me an article about it. So I was just surprised, but then I can't control it. Can't do anything about it, so. I mean, it's part of the business. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What did it mean to you, though, that the Raptors ultimately kept you? That they still believe in you? That they still think that you're a critical part of this organization? I mean, it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, good that they believe in me. And, like, I'm not mad at them or not mad at anyone. It's not part of the business, so. Have you ever been mad at anyone in your whole life? Uh, yeah, but <laughs> I've been mad before. Okay, let's get back to basketball for a moment. You went down 3-0 to Philadelphia 76ers. Then this team claws their way back into the series. What did that specifically teach you about yourself and this team? Uh, just that we're a resilient bunch. You know, we don't, we're very well coached. We work hard, driven, and we don't give up until the very end. Because we could have laid down and potentially got swept, but we'll fight. You didn't. Yeah. Scotty Barnes seems to be a pretty big fan of yours. Mm -hmm. He had the OG Ananobi funny moments streaming. He told another streamer, end quote, if he could play with any NBA player ever, it would be you. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, Scotty's a great friend of mine. Yeah, I'm really close with him. And I'll say the same thing. If I could pick anyone, I'll pick him. So. That was my next question. Yeah. You have known Scotty only for about a year, but you've obviously developed this friendship. You've known Thaddeus Young for a lot longer, mm -hmm. and we asked that about you as well, but what's it like having him now here for a full season? Oh, it's like really cool. You know, I've known Thad for a long time, so it's crazy. It's I still, it's still crazy he's my teammate, because I remember him when I was in high school and just being around him, and then now he's my teammate, so it's pretty cool. Do you think he's old? I tell him that, but I don't think he's really old. He's not really old. He's a 16-year vet. Yeah, he's like 35, though. That's not really old for like the real world. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, as someone who's 38, that makes sense. Uh, the Raptors signed Juancho Hernan Gomez, who starred as Bo Cruz in the movie Hustle. I've seen you act in commercials before. You're not bad. We talk about this all the time. I think you should do more. Who would star as OG Ananobi in a feature film? Um... I don't know. Someone like on a team? No, you have to pick like an actor. Oh, an actor. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Denzel? Yeah, he could do it, I guess. We're just gonna pick any rando. Yeah, Denzel can do it. Okay, I was thinking Oscar worthy here. Yeah. Who would play me? Who would play you? Mm -hmm. Um. Sandra Bullock. Sandra, I love that idea. I'm with this one, and she can interview you and get the great answers. Yeah, 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 she can do that. All right, finally, we didn't give the fans what they wanted last year. what they want? We wanted to go to the zoo. Mm-hmm. It didn't happen. Not my fault, it's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> it's not my fault either, it's the PR fault. Don't blame me. So, here's the thing, I think we should still go, but maybe we could go to Ripley's and, like, hang out with the penguins for a day. Okay, are you gonna ditch? I'm not ditching, you ditched. I never ditched. I didn't ditch. We need to talk to some people here. I was ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. I'll take these heels and go to the zoo. You're not ready. I'm ready, and I'm going to go to the zoo, and we're going to check out Habitats. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Don't ditch, though. I won't. You don't ditch. I never did. I never did either. I was there, in fact. No, you weren't. That's a lie. You put everything up on social media. There's no way you were at the zoo. First of all, <laughs> what? <laughs> Second of all, I was there. It's true, I haven't seen you post in like seven years. And you were not there, that's a total lie. Ask. I w I'm gonna ask everyone at the Toronto Zoo if you were at the zoo. But you have to ask on a 
It was on like a Sunday. On a Sunday? Yeah. You went to the zoo on a Sunday. On in a... what month? Pardon? And in what month? What month what? Of the year. Of what? This year. Of what? What month of the year did you go to the zoo? Oh, what month did I go to the zoo? Yes. Late February. Late February, you attended the Toronto Zoo after All Star break. It was late March. What was your favorite animal? I liked all of them. No, <laughs> you didn't because you didn't see any of them. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the zoo, OG. I'm going to ask every person who works there if they've seen you before. And they'll say yes. Okay, perfect. Because I was there in person. Can't wait. Okay. Okay, thanks, OG. <laughs> Thank you.